Yeah, no problem. How you doing today? I'm good. How are y'all? I'm doing great. Good, good, good. <laughs> good. I just want to say, you know, great career, man. Thank you for uh, well, thank sticking you. sticking with WWF and putting in the work in the Thanks, years I you've appreciate done. appreciate it. Yeah, I was wondering, Das, but you've been doing, you know, you've been helping do comedy for like the last, you know, three, four years. Is it a uh, difficult for you just to loop right back into something so dark and who's actually almost deeper and darker than Kane? Yeah, he's there. a lot deeper and darker than Kane is. Ah, uh, not really. No, you know, um, no. This, no. It's, it's there in the back of your mind to become that guy. Yeah, you, it, yeah. I mean, it's it's uh, that's what acting's all about, right? Yeah. You know, is being able to do different things and. Uh, the, the stuff that I've been doing with Daniel Bryan, um, I actually had had a lot of fun. I probably had the most fun in my career doing that. Uh, you know, so I, I would like to do I'd like to do more of that. You know, um, but well, you're then, in the basement right now, somewhere on a farm. So. Yeah, so who knows, right? Yeah. <laughs> so are you going to go a lot darker or grungier this time around? I mean, I mean, it was dark and grungy last time, but I'm just saying. Like, I don't know. I mean, you know, a lot of it's up to. Uh, uh, what the Soska twins do with, with the shooting, yeah, you know, with the editing of it. Uh, I think it, I think it's going to probably be a lot more artsy than the first movie. Arts, and I think that's, I think it's actually going to be cool. I think people are going to be blown away by the, the visual appearance of the movie. Um, you know, we have, we have, of course, the uh, some hardcore horror stuff in there as well. Um, but it's, uh, it's a bit of a mixture, you know, between like a horror movie, there's some levity and a little bit of, you know, some yeah. comedy in it. So I, I think people are going to be surprised. But. How do you approach the character differently? Obviously you want to do something a little new and you want to make it a little bigger. How do you approach the character differently the second time? We tried to bring, first of all, the, the, the physical look is a little bit different, uh, which I can't talk about. <laughs> because I've been sworn to secrecy. Um, <laughs> but all, like the name maybe a little more? Like the name to the look? Well, no, nah, I, I can't go into it. Um, yeah. But also, we, we tried to bring some more personality and some more character to him. Uh, a little more depth to the character, you know. Um, you know, for something of this genre anyway. And uh, hopefully all that plays through, you know. Um, the reason that Jacob is the reason he is is because his mom messed him up. Yeah. Um, right. So you have a little bit of the psycho Anthony Perkins thing mm -hmm. going on. Uh, so we play on that. And uh, right. I, I think also we use, you know, we use his, his physical size. What's your favorite horror movie? Huh? My favorite horror movie is actually probably not a horror horror movie, but it Silence of the Lambs is my, it's my, really? my favorite movie. Um, and then the, uh, the first Halloween I thought was really good. The first uh, A Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, was also was also really good. So, yeah. Respect. How do you stay physically fit? Yeah, you're, you're mounting the muscle. <laughs> I mean, you got you got to give us a little bit of your workout regimen or something. Like that. Um. Yeah, you're in your best shape. <laughs> thanks, man. Uh, I just I just try to get in the gym, like you know, five six days a week. Uh, I do a lot more cardio than I did when I was younger. Uh, I still try to lift relatively heavy, although not nearly as heavy as I did when in my younger days because I'd probably blow something out at this point in my life but that's that's the key for me is just trying to be consistent and just trying to still get in there and do it and uh, you know make my time in the gym productive and you know I watch still watch what I eat and still try to take care of myself as best I can so body wise you feel like you can still go for a couple more years oh yeah I feel good I don't feel too good today because I mean, we, you know, we just wrapped up. We just wrapped up shooting Saturday I mean, morning and then flew here, <laughs> so do you and now we're doing shoot, it today. Do you find do you find shooting the film is actually more aggressive for you than actually the the 270? No, uh, I, I love what I do in the ring. The downside of WWE is the travel. You know the the, the, the yeah the, the the ring stuff the ring stuff is fine you know and it, it's physically exerting and everything but I actually find that just traveling and getting there that's that's don't ever tell them this but that's I think what I get paid for you know <laughs> it's uh it, it's being in the ring that's the fun part it's the it, you hear actors say the same thing right, I was it's the being on the yeah road. It's the, yeah one it's time I was life on the road I was I, I was on set with someone I forget who it was and uh, they were talking about you know it was it was some like huge name guy like Brad Pitt or Johnny Depp and he was talking about how you know it's it, he doesn't get paid for the acting he gets paid for the waiting around all day <laughs> to do the acting right 
It's yeah. the same in our situation. You know, that the fun part is going out in front of the people and yeah, yeah, but the hard part is the getting there and the traveling. That's the real drag. It's the same with the acting part, you know. You get out in, in front of the camera and the red light comes on and that's fun and that's <laughs> great and then it's an hour, okay we gotta reset and switch lighting and stuff. You're like, oh, okay, yeah, I'll be back. You know. One one of the coolest uh, moments I remember is uh, something Undertaker said, he said one of the toughest matches that you guys ever did that he said he would never do again was the Inferno match. Yeah. I just want to kind of hear your side of it. <laughs> <laughs> like the whole ring on fire yeah. constant. I mean, was that really the craziest or is it still the craziest? Yeah, because you can get seriously hurt in that one. I actually yeah. I actually did get a did get a burn. Yeah. Protective as it looks. No. Yeah. I actually I actually did get did get a burn. It wasn't bad in that match. Um well, what do you think about the possibility of Sting coming to WWE? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you, would you, you know, like, I figured yeah. that'd be great, but. Yeah, sure, it'd be great. I mean, he, he's had, you know, he's had such a great career. Why not come and, and be with us? You know, I think sort he of, should. Sort of. End it there. Yeah, you know, um, but I don't know if he's going to do that or not. You know, I've never actually met him or, I met him one time, um, but I've never, you know, I, I don't know him that well. If he know. did, would you like to be in the match with him? Oh, sure, yeah. We saw Shameless walk in and you know, I was telling him I had, when we were going to interview you, he said he's going to be looking for you. <laughs> He's, he's waiting for me? Yeah. All right. We'll see. I'm waiting for him, too. Yeah. He's whiter than you. So. Yeah, he is. You can actually see the food digestion. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah. <laughs> One quick question. Yeah, man. Who were your big man inspirations in getting into wrestling all those years ago? Uh, Undertaker was one, actually. Uh, I, what's awesome about him is not only his size, but his athletic ability. You know, and he was probably the first guy that combined that size guy with that athleticism, maybe the only guy. And then, of course, Andre, you know, um, Andre's the ultimate. Uh, I think nowadays, I think, uh, speaking of Andre, you know, um, I, I think Big Show is phenomenal. The fact that he's as big as he is and he is the athlete that he is, is just amazing. Uh, but back in the day, yeah, it was Andre, you know, uh, a Taker, yeah. Uh, Hulk Hogan was one of my favorites too, you know. So, yeah, those guys. Thanks Very so cool. Much, guys. Thank you. Cool. All right, thanks, Thank guys. you. Thank you. You guys have a good day. Enjoy yourselves. Just really quick.